Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back for part 5 of State of Decay Story Mode. On last episode, we helped the Wilkerson's fight off hordes of zombies, uh, which went a lot better than we thought thanks to firebombs and explosive moonshine crates and stuff like that. All fun. All fun stuff. How are things on the home front? Depends. People are starting to get antsy, what with the crowding and all. I'll swing by when I get a chance. We'll talk about it. Oh good, I think this is the mission to get a new home, a new base. Um, wait a second. Oh no! Okay, so we... We had an opportunity to save an ally in trouble, but it's gone. So that's interesting. So I guess... I guess we took too long at the Wilkerson's and it disappeared, so I hope that person didn't die. Because uh, I think there's a chance they can with ally in trouble missions. Also, is our new survivor in here? Is she? Oh, there she is. We'll, uh, we'll play her soon. Does she have leadership skills? She doesn't. Oh, but she has reflexes and medicine, which are awesome. <gasps> and she has maxed out cardio. That's insane. I also like to do most main missions with Marcus, because in my opinion, he's kind of the main character. Even though this game doesn't really have main characters, per se. Believe you. You want to run away. Again. Come on, Lily. That's not fair. You're right. It's not. We've built a home here, and you just want to abandon it because things are getting tough. What's going on? I was just trying to tell Lily that we need to start looking for a new place to live. We're too cramped in here. And our runners keep having to go farther and farther from the church to find supplies. Seems reasonable. Things have been pretty tight lately. Fine. Then maybe you should bail on us too. I mean, he has a point, I think. Also, geese are really annoying. And there's a bunch of them right outside my balcony. That are just honking at each other. Moral fear? Who's afraid? Alright, so we're not gonna do the home away from home. Oh, Ed's afraid. I know things seem bad, but we're gonna make it. And you're gonna help. Let's go. I'm on it. I wonder if his clothes ever become not gross. Or if he just looks bloody and nasty for the rest of the game. Like, look at him. He looks terrible. I also kind of wish that, or I hope in the second one that there's, there's like gasoline levels for cars, like they run out of gas. You've been I think that okay? would be difficult, I'm, I'm but also confused. amazing. I don't know, just some people have been having trouble sleeping. You know, with the stress and all. Just wondering if you've been having the same problem. Okay, now we're gonna kill some zombies the old way. Whoops. My car. You keep lining up, and I'll keep knocking you down. Oh, is this another horde? Oh, that was cool. Oh no, Ed's door. If you're not careful, at least. What the heck was that? Oh. <gasps> That was the car I hit? I guess I hit it way harder than I thought, guys. It just blew up. Oh nice yeah, my work. leadership came up. Looking up already. I was sticking my foot and no, crushing someone's skull. You know. True leader. Oh, he's done already. Okay. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. Yeah, well you're lucky something. Smart. Maybe Lucky maybe it's time for another cup of coffee, guys. Nice. Oh. Crap. Bad time. So much for doing it the quiet way. Let's 
get the hell out of here. Holy zom zoms. Come on, Ed, get in. Oh, we gotta get this one off the side. I think that last one was just asking for directions. Look, <laughs> You're I, I so don't funny, know Ed. what we're doing out here, but don't you think we should get back? We're Working on it. Now. Thank you, by the way. I couldn't have done it without you. Bullshit. I mean it. We gotta stick together, right? Alone, I would have been vulnerable. We need people to watch our backs. You know what? I want someone to write a webcomic about about some guy that just walks around this town and re keeps putting back up, like fixing and putting back up all the signs that the players hit. Look, uh, I'll think about what you said. Okay. Because they regenerate, I'm like glad. they respawn. I just think that'd be the funniest, saddest side story ever. Like maybe he was a crossing guard, and he like had to protect children or something, and then let them all Here die, and now he's he's sad, Bye. and just fixes signs. <laughs> Or something like that. <laughs> but I mean, something way better written than whatever I just said. Hey, you. A creative mind at work. Uh, should we? I'm happy to help. We sure should. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. Well, I think we have to go to Marshall. Whoa, guys. We're going across the map for the first time. This is exciting stuff. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. God, look how dirty this SUV is now. Oh, the other one's clean. Let's go get in the prepper SUV. Keep your eye on the right. We got zombies incoming. What the heck was that? Alright, so the blood does kind of slop off eventually, I guess. Really, Sam? I wish I could, like, forbade her from being on there. From being a lookout, because she's terrible. Mm, this isn't the way I want to go. So, what was that with you and Lily? Hmm, it's a long story. Not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. Our dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob, I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. It was a lot for a kid to live Oof, up to. that's rough. I didn't handle it well. As soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. Go on. Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this was my first visit home. Anyway, I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me. Well, at least you made up with them before the world ended. Well, look at the wind turbines. That was close. Ugh, these frame drops are killing me. Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we could fortify pretty easily, and check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem pretty excited about this place. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally. She lived in this house. Man, I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well then, let's take a look inside. Oh, 
What could Jesus. go wrong, right? Who's... Can't see. Help me. Oh no. What the hell was that? Don't know. That that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? Nope. Maybe we gotta go, huh? Oh, so the characters didn't know like what turns you yet, I guess. Really, Jake, have you left the door open? Sorry, signs. Oh, sorry. I'm telling you, someone needs to do a webcomic about that guy. Just walks around putting up signs. Is that the music or a sound effect? Regroup at the warehouse? What warehouse? Oh, that's back there. I almost missed that. That would have been bad if I drove all the way home. I'm also kind of kicking myself for doing that sleeping upgrade. I thought this quest was farther away. Or task, whatever they're called in this universe. Same shit, different name. We got one option at least. There might be more out there if you look around. I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fall. See, this is my favorite base. And I think the biggest and most efficient as far as upgrades go. Well guys, we can move here right now actually. I think we have the supplies and we have the people. Let's do it. Why wait, right? This looks like the sort of place that would make a good home. Pretty big step. Sure you want to go through with this? It's yes. time for a change in scenery. <gasps> we did it, guys. So does it cost 50 supplies to move or do you just need Oh good, around. you just need 50 supplies. And it doesn't actually use them up when you move. All right, let's build some upgrades. Let's repair everything that's here. So we gotta build some workshop, storage room. Ooh, and a built-in bedroom, hell yeah. Four parking spaces. Towers are good upgrades. And then we have five upgrade slots. Hmm. What should be inside? I think eventually you need a second bedroom. I might be like, meh, let's not go the bedroom route because, uh, because reasons. Yeah, there we go. Plus 300% research speed requires good researcher. Uh, so that's 20. All right, so let's do a library. Libraries are useful. And we need a medical area. Uh, training area. I think that's all we can do for now. Gardens are useful, but not necessary. Kitchen, you can make snacks, which is also useful. Oh, we have two more slots. We could do a kitchen and a garden. <gasps> Look at that. We can make more suppressors. Oh, this is going to be... A 
the beginning of a beautiful relationship with this place. Well, shall we shall we do the tour? Shall we look around? Even though it's all nighttime. I think we're doing pretty okay. Never leave a man behind. Zed gets so to go hungry tonight. Hey, the there's something weird coming over the radio. Are those grenades? It's really strong, like it's super it's close cabbage. By. Here, listen. What the? It just goes on like that. Can you keep an eye out for something like a transmitter or a beacon? I don't know what you're looking for. I think I've got something for you. Your map should have the location. We need to clear this infestation out. Oh, lots of stuff to do now, guys. So it looks like both those rooms are bedrooms. This is kind of the main room. Oh, this is where the locker is. Uh, but I don't have anything to put in there or really take out. Oh, that's the shop. I wish you could put something else over here. That would make sense. And then none of these areas are quite built yet. Cool. Oh, wow. The infestation is really close. So you can destroy. There's a quest to do it. Oh, we don't need that one anymore. Let's investigate the signal. Because I don't think I remember that. That might be a new thing. I don't think I do remember. I could just have bad memory. It could be in the other one. Yeah, let's do the signal first, because I feel like that might disappear faster than the infestation would attack us or something like that. Oh, you know what? I hope the signal isn't loud. Otherwise, there might be lots of zombies surrounding it. And I don't think I have a gun. Actually, I'm pretty fairly certain we didn't give Marcus a gun. Search the source of the signal. Oh, well, I guess we're going on foot. Ooh. Might have to find a different way up. Alright, let's kill these two. One more. Oh no, I have a gun. What do I have? I have a pistol. Should have grabbed another silencer though. Oh no, guys, look at Lurda Horde. Oh my god. Alright, we're going weapons free. It takes forever to reload this weapon. I didn't even reload, I was interrupted. Shit, get back to the car. At least I can run and reload. Oh no, guys. Where's the hell is the car? Where did I leave it? It's way up there. Have an apple. Back to school. What uh what the hell is that? Well that's a special infected. things considered, that could have gone worse. Better make these count. 
seriously, the reload time on this gun is terrible. Oh my god. It looks like more spawned, doesn't it? This is no joke, guys. Alright, next time we get a mission like this, we are seriously bringing some firebombs or something. I don't know what the heck to do here without a car. Maybe we can lure a, a couple out at a time. And just kill the runners. Let's get this. These ones are slow. More trickling in. Oh, it's a fast one. Another fast one. No, we don't want the sledgehammer. Or maybe they learn. Oh no. Oh no, it's a big one. And we got a fast one. Oh god. I just, I can't get rid of him. Alright, let's try to lure them down this way. I think if I lure them far enough away, I should be able to run back and then search really, really quick. I think. Alright, let's try this. But running ones keep showing up, like this one. Ruining my plans. Search it. Let's try a loop back around. So the zombies really like that beacon, huh? I hope whatever yeah. you found out there was worth the risk. It will be once I get back to it.
Alright, there was another gun. Let's equip it. Uh, oh, I didn't get it. It was interrupted. I also really don't want to lose the sledgehammer. See if I can bring the car down. We've got the basics, but to really pull this off, we need a little more. The other question is how the hell do I get back up there? We can track it down or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. Well guys, I think this is where I'm gonna end this episode. End it on a bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, once again, my name is Russell Tussle, and this is my channel. Uh, please like and subscribe below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!